Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tyronza D. Hicks, aka Ty the Pie Guy to be uh, to be exact, of course, and welcome to a new video of Pod 101-ish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Give yourselves a hand clap of praise. Hey, come on. Yeah, give yourself. Come on, y'all made it back in the building. Y'all are back for another video, and we are here. We're happy to have you. We're thankful to have you. Thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the channel that continue to run the numbers up. Run the numbers up. We appreciate you. We love you. And we thank you. Listen, we have a new video here for you today. Pod 101-ish. And we are talking something very important um, today, which as podcasters and creators in podcasting, we all have those days where we burn out. We all have those days where we just... We just don't want to podcast anymore. And we're going to talk specifically what that means and the term for it, pod fade. Let's get into it. So what necessarily is pod fade? What does that look like? What is the term for that? What is the meaning for that? So pod fade necessarily is nothing but just podcast burnout, right? You don't have the energy to produce, host, post anything pertaining to your podcast or your network or anything that you that anything that you're doing that's pertaining to podcasting you have cut it cold turkey <laughs> you know and 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 sometimes what we see in the industry um is that people really do cut cold turkey i know i i have on numerous occasions um and you know burnout again is real pod fade is real um people really you know take you know maybe one to ten episodes and then cut it off just like that right because sometimes we don't understand that podcasting is not just hosting right coming to the microphone and doing what i'm doing right now it is actually putting in the research Right. And we'll get into some of the ways that, you know, you have to kind of counteract profit. But, you know, you have to understand that profit is real. Burnout is real in this industry. So what are some of the effects of profit? Right. So let's get into it. Some of the effects of profit. Right. Um, first of all, life happens. Right. We understand that as creators, as podcasters, as worker bees, as people who work, you know, whether you're in corporate America, industry, burnout happens and life events happen. Right. So sometimes you just have to put things to the back burner. And I know it sucks and I know it hurts. Right. Even if you built a fan base with your, you know, your show or, or, or a great community with your show, you know, sometimes life events happen and you have to put that to the back burner. And that's OK. Right. That's OK. But it is an extension of pod fade. Right. Loss of passion. Right. We see that with a lot of creator podcasters or podcast creators when it comes to, you know, podcasting they're losing the passion for it they're losing the 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 exhilaration for it right and and sometimes you 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 i i came into this business having the notion of infamy infamy if, if i said that right <laughs> infamy right trying to be infamous um it took me about six months <laughs> to know like this is this is this is i don't want to be famous i don't want to be infamous and you know, I built what I built because I was sustaining, you know, I was consistent and the passion for me never left because I kept elevating in my craft. So, uh, you have to learn, you have to fail, you have to do all those things. And sometimes the loss of passion can cause pod fade. And you see all the all the ones that we see I, you have on the screen right now, you know, co-host. Um, we're talking, you know, you don't have the time right you just don't have the time you know pot again there's a lot of factors that go into it life events you know loss of passion not having the co-host not researching or not having the topics you know not not having to to you know not knowing what to do next with the podcast right so there are a lot of things that go into podcast burner or what we call pod fade it is it is and it's abrupt you know, I know I've seen a lot of podcasts post one day and it'll be gone the next and maybe two months later, we'll get an explanation, you know, 
And in that moment, we have to have grace for the podcaster because as that, as the podcast creator, we don't know what they're going through. Life is still happening. So here are three ways, okay? Three ways to help you with pod fade, okay? First off, first off, number one, I need my podcast creators. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. I'm taking my glasses off. I want you to look at me. I need you to rest. Real talk. I need you to rest. And heck, and heck this could be for everybody who worker bees for real in any industry. But for my podcasters, for real, my, my creators in podcasting, I need you to rest. I need you to rest. I, I The respect level for so many of the pod cr- podcast creators that i see and respect that go so hard on a daily basis a lot of them i don't see them resting (laughs) and that can cause pod fade not resting the brain right because again podcasting is not just this and podcast creators know that so you have to rest the mind body and the spirit for you and your podcast to continue to thrive i will say that first rest people please rest okay rest your mind rest your body and rest your spirit so that you can continue to be the driving force behind your amazing show and your amazing podcast all right let's go number two Okay, pivot. You have (laughs) to be able to pivot. Listen, change is hard. I get it. Change is very hard. It is, it is, it is probably one of the most single things to really just get under your skin because you don't like to change sometimes. You like the way it is. It's comfortable the way it is. I get it. Trust me, me. I get it. I get it. And we'll talk about that videos down the line, but I get it. Trust me. I get it. But sometimes in order for growth to happen, you got to make that shift. You have to be able to pivot. You have to be, you know, able and willing, even in scared, even in fear, even in nervousness, even in that crunch time, even when you feel as though it is not happening, you have to pivot, have faith that it's happening. Change is good. Listen, change is hard. Change is tough. Change is uncomfortable. But if you're doing it, change is good at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? Pivoting is good at the end of the day. Learning other things. And pivoting does not mean just change. It is learning new things. Taking new things under your wing and learning them. Heck, you have to fail in order to succeed first. That's what you have to do. You cannot be afraid to fail. You have to be. You cannot. In your mind, you can. In your body, you can. But like, listen, at the heart of you, you can't let nobody see you sweat. I know I'm sweating right now, but you cannot. Let nobody see you sweat. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to pivot. Make the pivot. Trust me. Trust me. Make the pivot. It'll change your life. Okay. Number three. And last but not least, we mentioned it probably throughout the video. Do your research, people. People, please. It is, it is, it is, it is (sighs) crucial that research needs to be done sometimes when we go into pie when we burn out that's because we're not taking the necessary time attention to making sure that the podcast production the research value and the topics that we're bringing to our shows are top quality and heck My thing is this, Google's there, (laughs) right? And I know you have to sift through articles and different type of, you know, what's true and what's not true. But when you're doing research, that's the grunt work of it. The research honestly is the grunt work of it all. 
And I think that's the that's the part that a lot of podcasters that I see may want to they, they try to skip over. You can't skip over that and honestly say, "Oh, I'm burnt out." No, that's you have you cannot skip that step. That's to avoid the pod fade. If you don't do the research, if you're just kind of kind of you know I don't want to say the word that I'm thinking of in my head, but if you if you if you really just playing around with it and not giving it your all, honestly, it's not going to give back to you what you want it you what you want in return. Right? If that makes sense. If you're not giving 100% to the baby that you have created, i.e. your podcast, then your podcast in a sense is not going to give back to you because you haven't really given back to it and trust me when i say i started i can't even find my phone i started with my iphone 7 that i still have when i started podcasting look at the space now it is about investing in yourself and heck sometimes investing in yourself is a journey <laughs> to really invest in yourself but once you start oh it is like a it, it's i don't want to say it's like a drug but it's like it's something that you just don't want to stop like yo i see my vision coming to life i see what i probably didn't three four years ago and i'm still passionate i'm still resting and heck when i tell you i have problems with rest all the three things that i'm telling y'all rest pivoting and researching i had to work on those heck i still work on those to this day I run a whole podcast network, host five shows, do these. I I have to make sure that I'm trying to be on top of it. And it's okay. It's not going to happen overnight, people. But you have to put in the work and at least try. And I say that all the time. At least try. All right. So rest, pivot, research. RPR. Rest, pivot, research. Say it with me. Rest, pivot, research. Those are three good ways to help you avoid pot fade. All right. Listen, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Y'all be good. Stay easy. Be breezy. We will be back next week for another scam likely video. Of course. All right. I've seen the the numbers for the the other scam likely video. We appreciate y'all. Y'all go tap in with that. Check that out. And um, we love y'all. Peace, love, and hair grease.